this is actually really out side of my comfort zone but that's okay because sometimes the Lord asks us to step outside of our comfort zone um, whenever he needs us to do something and it's to prepare us for what's coming so you know I just will receive whatever God has coming and know that it's all within his will but Really what he has laid on my heart to share happened last night during my quiet time and he laid something on my heart last night and it completely brought me to tears and when I started praying about it, my flesh wanted me to believe that it was a hopeless situation and that there was, that the situation was too far gone for any of my prayer interventions to even have an effect on the situation. But that was my flesh wanting me to believe that. That was the world's view wanting me to believe that. Because it tells us in the Bible that all things are possible. And so I just want to encourage you today just to claim that if you're going through something and prayer almost seems hopeless. I just want to encourage you that it's not hopeless. If it seems hard to pray, if you're almost to that point where is he even listening, just remember what it tells us in Jeremiah, where if we seek him with all of our heart, we will find him. And so I would just encourage you just to seek him and you will find him. I just want to just pray right now with you if you would just receive it. Dear Lord, I just come to you and I just ask, Lord, that whatever is going on in each and every individual situation that is watching this, Lord, that your hands would be all over that, that you would anoint um, the people involved in this situation, God. God, that there would just be an uplifting of spirits and in hope and grace just poured over that situation, God. God, we just give that situation to you and whatever it may be, Lord, we know it's not impossible because through you all things are possible. Thank you, Lord, for this renewed hope within us. And God, I just thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you all have a blessed night.